Today what we're going to take a look at is how to position size a long order on a stock on the Australian market, in this case Lendlease, and we're going to have a look at a position sizing spreadsheet that you could consider to make your life a little bit easy in terms of working out how many shares to buy on a particular stock. Okay, so in this particular case, we're looking at a nice uptrending stock here. It has broken down below the recent support line as you can see through here. However, just for the sake of this example, we're going to look to suggest if we were to buy it right now, where would we place our stop, what's the ATR, and how might we actually work out how many shares to buy in this particular trade. Now, overall, you want to ideally trade in an uptrend, so that meets all the criteria there, but let me pop across to the spreadsheet here. Now, in this particular spreadsheet, what we're looking at here is a risk of $350 on every individual position. So do keep in mind that when we place our stop loss, it will be calculated as a result of working out the risk on $350. As you know, with Van Tharp, he has a principle called R, and one R in this case is $350. So we're gonna base all of our decision and position sizing on that. So this is already calculated. I've already put $350 into that calculation, so you so you don't have to worry about that side of things. It's already uh, being calculated there in the background. In this case, what we might do is go LLC and we put today's date on, which is 31st the 8th. So we want to have a look where the entry might be. So let's just say we get in at around market price, 2044, just for the sake of the example. So we go 20.44 and then it's asking for the ATR. Now, a lot of people do like to base their exits on the ATR because it's a volatility based stop. So let's go and have a look at what the ATR is on that day. So the ATR is 39 cents. Jump back in here, 0.39. And then you can see two ATR. Now in this particular setup and trade or, or exit, I should say, this setup is along and then we're looking at getting out if the price would fall to ATR. So it automatically calculates that for you. So at 78 cents there. So then as you can see the formula here, 20.44 minus 78 cents will give us 19.66. Now you'll see the target there. So the stop loss is 19.66. Let's just go work out where 19.66 is. Just in approximately there. Now interestingly, that's right on the wick there. And the low on that day was actually 19.53. So we could take that into account if we wanted to go one tick below that to give a bit of room just in case it had a double bottom there. So then it also has a target. Now this is good for working out your risk award. So should this trade go up, you know, up to, you know, follow the uptrend and at least hit the new recent highs, we might have a look at this range here at 20, say 60, 2166. I'm put 2166 in there. So the reward on this trade is 1.56, the two ATR stop, okay. So the way we can work that out, okay, so two ATRs, if we were to use the calculation based on the two ATR stop, you'd see that it would give us 449 CFDs of, of Lend-Lease. So we'd round that up to 450, which means our position size would be 9,178. So if we do put in a new stop, and you'll see I've got a new area over here or an area over here where we can put some new details in. If we were to say, okay, well, I'm happy with that particular stop, but just in case I want a tighter stop, sometimes you might be buying right on, on a recent low or a support line, so your stop's a little bit closer. So let's just say for argument's sake, that should the order track one tick below the low on that day? The low was 1982. 1981 so let's go 1979 just below a round number there okay one tick below the low on that day there 1979 okay so that means should that scenario play out the upper target being hit and based on that stop loss it means we've got a risk award of 1.88 that now means we would buy 539 CFDs in this or an $11,000 position there. So this is really good. This spreadsheet enables you to plan out your trade and see what the risk reward would be in certain scenarios there based on your risk parameters and should you happen to change your stops and those type of things. Now you can also do it on the short side as well because obviously with CFDs you can trade short. So I've actually replicated this spreadsheet across to the short side 
However, we're focusing just on the uh, long side at this point in time. So yeah, just wanted to take you through that so you can see an example of how you might use it. You can obviously, you might have a one ATR stop, you might have a three ATR stop, you might have something else that's in there and this could be just your technical base stop. So you look at support and resistance and you judge where your exit might be as a result of the technical analysis that you're using there. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of the opportunities you can use and the differences and how you might want to plan a trade and more importantly, plan your position sizing on a particular trade. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, we welcome you to subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks a lot.